How to Replace a Human Touch Circa Recline Actuator You will need a needle-nosed pliers, 4mm Allen wrench, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Be sure to save all removed parts for reassembly. To get started, unplug the chair from the power outlet. Next, open the cable lock, then disconnect the chair's power cable from the power adapter cord. Now, remove the head pillow from the chair, then gently tip the chair onto its left-hand side. Move the power cable out of the way, then strike the top of the chair base feet, one at a time, to detach the chair base from the chair. Using a needle-nosed pliers, remove the clip that secures the front footrest actuator hinge pin, then remove the pin. Remove the five white washers from the front mounting point, then push the footrest to the right as far as it will go. Now, use a 4mm Allen wrench to loosen the two screws that secure the bottom of the backrest upholstery to the chair. Be sure to loosen the screws enough to detach the upholstery from the chair frame. Unzip the backrest upholstery about 12 inches. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws that secure the plastic panel that conceals the actuator motors. Remove the panel from the chair. Now, use a needle-nosed pliers to remove the clip that secures the actuator's front hinge pin, then remove the pin and the two white washers. Next, remove the clip that secures the rear hinge pin, then remove the pin and the two white washers. Slide the actuator toward the front of the chair until it clears the chair frame, then locate the actuator cable connector. Open the connector lock, disconnect the connectors, then remove the actuator from the chair. To install the new actuator, align the connector pins, connect the connectors, then close the connector lock. Next, with the actuator motor facing down, slide the actuator into position, aligning the mounting points. Replace the two front washers, positioning them between the actuator bracket and the lower chair mounting bracket. Install the front hinge pin from the bottom, then replace the clip to secure it. Now, replace the two rear washers, positioning them between the actuator shaft and the lower chair mounting bracket. Install the rear hinge pin from the bottom, then replace the clip to secure it. Next, close the backrest upholstery zipper. Align the backrest upholstery screws with the corresponding screw holes in the chair, 
then use a 4mm Allen wrench to secure the screws. Next, tuck the cable bundle behind the actuators, place the plastic panel into position over the actuator shaft, then replace the four screws to secure it. Pull the footrest back toward the actuator to align the mounting points. Install the hinge pin through the lower mounting bracket to hold the footrest in place, then install the five white washers between the actuator and the top mounting bracket. Finish installing the hinge pin through the upper mounting bracket, then replace the clip on top to secure it. Now, place the chair base into position, aligning the arrow on the base with the arrow on the connecting shaft, then slide the base onto the shaft. Return the chair to the upright position. Reconnect the power adapter cable to the chair's power cable, then close the connector lock. Plug the power adapter into a power outlet. Finally, replace the head pillow, and you're done.